All right. Good day, everybody. Today, let's do the beautiful bitter gourd with bacon chili fry. Okay, normally bitter gourd, no one wants to touch it because it's bitter. But I will show you a very nice way to prepare this. So for that, I have one lime which I will put into the bitter gourd. I have uh, around an onion which I will brown and keep aside. Coriander leaves, okay, that much. Few mint leaves. I've got goat cheese. I've got bacon strips, one, two, three. And I've got some olive oil, which I will put in here. Then I have, uh, this is just two uh, tablespoons. And then I have cumin powder, roasted cumin powder, half a teaspoon, uh, crushed pepper, half a teaspoon, three quarter teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. We will put it here, okay. Mix all together. And then we have to put salt to taste for sure. And also crush the lemon. Okay, unfortunately one hand, but we'll manage. Okay, put the lemon, and then we will put the salt, mix all together, and fry it in a pan. I will try to use coconut oil this time to fry this one. Okay. So after a good mix, we'll just put one teaspoon of salt. That's all. Okay, just a teaspoon. Not too much so low medium flame first we will try and use a bit of normal oil this is for cooking the uh, onion there you go so the onions are brown now we'll take them out and lay the side okay and it's time for me to cook the bacon let's try the bacon Let's fry the bacon now, right? So the bacon is now fried and we will mix it with onion, doesn't matter, okay, and we will keep it aside. Okay, reduce the flame. Now we will fry the bitter gourd, but for bitter gourd we will put coconut oil, okay. It will give you some difference, you will, you will make out when you bite the bitter gourd when it is crunchy okay so let's now start placing the bitter gourd in fact it will there you go just make it crispy okay you will see as soon as they turn brown yeah you can take it and set it aside Okay, so all these I will take it and set it aside. So you see I put on a paper towel, I put another paper towel here and the next lot will go and so on and so on and so on. So that will you know, take off all the oil contents, alright. So let's do the next lot, okay. Go. Okay, and then we will, you know, just separate it like this. Okay, it's very important, right? That way. Okay. So now we will do the assembly into this beautiful dish. I've got the bacon and the fried onions here, the goat cheese here, got some salad leaves here. And I'm removing the oil and putting the karela, fried karela here. I've got some chopped coriander and mint. So I've got the salad leaves covers, covers at the bottom. Okay, and I'll start assembling the karela. Okay, all around. Okay, just two layers will be beautiful. Okay, very nice. And then we will put some beautiful bacon. Okay, bacon will give you a better taste. Okay, so you will never say no to karela next time. Then 
you have to add the beautiful onion okay the fried onion will give you a better flavor okay all right it's important to put the fresh chopped coriander and mint now not after now it will give you a a fresh taste okay so we will go with the second layer now okay so we left here pick it up and the last so it's time now for the goat cheese so the goat cheese we will just sprinkle okay so wash my hands okay wipe my hands and then we will just do this okay just a bit don't over flood it it has to be just enough it can't be too much too much always is too bad you can keep some so when you serving if one of you needs some extra goat cheese that's what is going to happen you can use the remaining of this one okay guys cheers and have a lovely day tasting was done it's fantastic now time to close the lid and wait for the guests to arrive Cheers guys, enjoy.